Hi everybody, I'm JT. Welcome to another video from me and Harry here at Camper Van Camp Journey. And guess what? We are off on our next adventure. We're all loaded up and we're about to head off for the Euro Tunnel. So we've got a three or four hour trip to catch our crossing over to France and then driving all the way down about 700 miles down to the French Alps. Yippee! Hoping for a great trip. I'm sure you will. Okay, so we are all packed up and ready to head off. We've got, um, it's about a 150 mile trip down to the Euro Tunnel from us here in Salisbury, which should take us probably about three-ish hours at this time of day and our crossing over is around about midnight. Uh, we then plan to stop over somewhere in northern France, uh, spend uh, a few hours sleeping in the van to, to get some rest and we're going to try out a new thermal insulating top pop top cover that we've got so hopefully that will help because it's going to be a little bit chilly and we'll certainly have to try out the heater. So last time we pulled off to come to the Channel Tunnel, which was in May last year, we were we queued for about an hour before we got this far. So fingers crossed, it's looking a lot better this time. Fingers crossed. I think it took us two hours to get this far. Declare your view for conventional. Conventional, yes, we are conventional. Bon voyage, Monsieur Tomlinson. Bon voyage. Which one are we booked on? 23 something. 2319. <laughs> yeah, last time it was carnage down here. Just here. Yeah. This is where we had a fight, yeah. Almost had a fight. So parked up now at the car park at the Euro Tunnel Terminal and came in really quickly. There was no queuing lorries, uh, no traffic here at all really. It's quite surreal compared to when we last came where there was absolute carnage. Um, that was back in May and it was chaos, absolute chaos, but much, much easier trip in. Um, however, the trip information that we're seeing on the board at the moment, we were hoping to catch a train around about uh, midnight. Um, time now is just approaching 11 o'clock. Uh, it looks like that train may be delayed until around about one in the morning, um, which is a little bit of a um, nuisance, but uh, one of those things. So I think we'll have a think in a second. I think we might drive round and see whether we can get slotted onto the, the 20 past train. So, progress in terms of getting in a lot quicker, maybe not progress in terms of actually getting onto the train, but uh, it's not a problem because it just means that our parking up and having a bit of a snooze on the way is just going to happen a little bit earlier rather than later, but uh, the good news is, is we are one step closer to the French Alps.
So we're on the train. We are under the English Channel. And we are stationary. We've been stopped for 10, 15 minutes. And Ice Man's just come to let us know that there's nothing to worry about, but there's a problem with the brakes that they're just checking out. So um, we sit and wait whilst they check them out. And then if they're OK, then we carry on to France. And if they're not OK, then we go back. I'm just trying to get my head around the fact that if the brakes aren't working, it's OK to go back. But it's not OK to go forward. <laughs> just go forward. <laughs> if they're not all right and you're going to go one way or the other, then surely you can just... For us, it's better to keep going to front. Anyway, as the man said to the people behind, it is what it is. So we just have to wait and see. So see if we've got. At least we can uh, have a little snooze in the warm because it's quite warm down here, rather than being stuck on a side of a French auto route in the frost. So we've started to move, but we're going backwards, heading back to Folkestone, so I'm not quite sure what's going to happen then, whether we get straight on another train or we're just going to have to wait, but whatever the problem was, they clearly haven't been able to fix it. So, first payage of our trip. Does the tag still work? That's lucky. Wrong lane, and it still works. <laughs> So good morning, we are somewhere, somewhere in northern France. Um, we pulled into a couple of airs on the way, drive down uh, last night and uh, um, a couple of smaller ones which didn't have any facilities at all. So we just decided that we'd drive a little bit further and stop at this one, which isn't very glamorous, uh, but it does have toilets, a cafe and um, nice and safe park up so we parked up popped the top up put our new screen protector on which has done a really good job of keeping us warm i'll do a separate video about it in due course but that's a screen from pusa screens and um made a really really good job of keeping us nice and toasty inside along with the uh, diesel heater so we've travelled about two, I think 250 odd miles yesterday out of our 750 mile trip to the Alps. So we've got a steady drive down today. There's no rush to get down to Borg Sam Reese. In fact, we're going to spend another night in the van on the way down. So we'll get the pop drop down, get everything packed up, probably grab a croissant and some coffee and head on with the rest of our trip. Nine thirty in the morning. We had a good four hours probably sleep at 
the four hours rest at the air and we're now heading down the 26 towards Bourg Saint Maurice. We've got just under 800 kilometres to go and seven hours if we don't stop we probably will stop probably twice to break the journey up and um, I don't know how far it'll be before we see some snow we've already seen it pop up on our weather app for where we are now in northern France temperatures dropping it's set in for this long steady trip. <laughs> Blue skies out and clouds for us. Okay, so it wouldn't be a trip to France for us if we didn't stop and have some illegal bacon. It's 20 past 12. We are not far from Troy, uh, about four and a half hours from Bourg Saint Marie's, and it's beautiful. The sun's come out, it's absolutely glorious. So, we're going to have have some lunch, stretch our legs, and um, enjoy the beautiful sunshine. It's cold, it's about three degrees, but it's absolutely beautiful. Bacon. No! Don't tell anybody we're eating bacon! What if the border falls to watch it? Okay, so we've had a nice lunch stop somewhere in western France. Chateau Villain. Chateau Villain, that's right, isn't it? The Air de Chateau Villain. Um, we've travelled a long way. 435 miles since. We left home, 250 of those, I think, this morning. Mm -hmm. And um, we've got probably about another 300 miles-ish to go, which uh, we might see if we can get all the way to Borg San Marys um, in, one in one go this afternoon, um, and then work out where we're going to spend the night in the van when we get there. But uh, yeah. The weather is certainly helping for the journey and the roads are busier than I thought they'd be and there's a lot of English people travelling down so I think maybe lots of people have had the same idea as us to try and get a day ahead on their trip but uh, time will tell when we're going through Albertville and into the mountain valleys whether our plan to try and get ahead of the traffic has worked so fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Fuel. Drive past the fuel station. So, we will sit and wait and keep the fuel. So, we're now about 500, 535 miles. Trip. Leaving home in Sunswick. It's three o'clock in the afternoon, Friday, and we've got probably about another 200 miles to go until we get to Walk Sound Bridge. Just started to see 
signs for Geneva. Some of the motorway signs, which obviously means we're getting close to the mountains. But, um, just trying to decide whether we're going to get all the way there this evening, stop, or whether we stop somewhere before. We'll see how we get there. But the weather's been good. No problems so far. Fingers crossed, we'll keep good time. Generally, the auto routes are pretty quiet and spread out, but when you get to these big interchanges between two major motorways, it does get a bit busy, a bit of a jostling match. The French drivers don't like to leave much space, keen to get past quickly, so. Top tip, just take your time, give them space, let them get on, and then hopefully you'll get through unscathed. I'm hoping the man behind me is going to let me in. We're in. We've negotiated like a local into the tank. Okay, we've just got a barge. Just have to barge. Go through fast. Yeah. And then we've got to reverse out and it fails. And we're beeped, we're okay. The tank does its job again. So I always think of this as the last leg of the journey. Turn left at Chambray and take the A43. This is the auto route that takes us all the way into the mountains. Just see over to the left. I call the low Alps, the beginning of the Alps. Small little mountains that start to build and build and build as we get closer. Welcome to Borg Sam Maurice. It's what is it? I don't even know what day it is. It's Saturday morning. It's about nine o'clock. Um, we decided that we would drive all the way down in one hit yesterday to get here. And um, for those of you who don't know what our plans are, um, we've got a week here staying in one of the lodges and skiing at, in Les Arc, which is all the mountains all around us. And we decided that on our trip down, we would come and stay two nights to try and spread the journey up and stop in our California. So last night, we camped in an air in... Um, Northern France, sorry, not last night, so the night before last, Friday night, Friday night? Thursday night, Friday morning, we stopped in an air on the 
auto route and stayed there and got a few nights sleep to break the journey up and then we drove down through Friday to get here. The reason why we came a little bit early was when we came, did the trip, drove down three years ago now, uh, it took us best part of 24 hours to make the journey, it was a long old slog um, because of the traffic effectively and we decided and having read some reports and had some comments and feedback from some of our um, viewers that uh, trying to come a day ahead might actually help with the journey so we decided to book our crossing a day ahead so changeover day in the ski results is often a Saturday but we wanted to arrive here be in the area or be close by and so we could get to our destination on Saturday rather than arriving at 10 o'clock at night on a Saturday which is what we did last time so we spent the night in the California you can see that we've got our um, pop top cover on which has done a great job of keeping us warm plugged into the hookup with a diesel heater going it was minus seven minus eight last night but we're all toasty and snug in there and you can see from my breath it's still super super cold but not much snow on the ground here there has been a lot of snow as you can see around me but not much snow on the ground here we're about 800 meters up now where we're going to be skiing is about 2000 and there's plenty of snow up on the top of the peaks behind me which hopefully you can see so we're going to go off now harry and i are going to go and find some breakfast and um then we've got a day to to fill before we can settle into our cabin and a bit more comfort for a whole week as much as I love my camper van, there's no way that four of us could spend a week skiing in that um, without it ending up in World War Three. I'm sure that there are some people who can do it. But I'm not sure that we're quite cut out for that just yet. But uh, two people, probably yes. But four of us, no. Anyway, let's go and find some breakfast. So we had plans that we'd probably stay at a park up somewhere on our journey down for the two nights that we were travelling. Um, but due to the fact that we made good progress on our trip, we called ahead to the campsite where we are now, which is they've got all year camping here because of the access to the ski slip. So we phoned ahead to see if they had space for us. This has plenty of space. Come on down and. Uh, get yourself settled in. So we stayed here I think three times before in the summer, never in the winter. We have. We haven't camped here in the winter. Oh yeah. We've been in a lodge here in the winter, but not in the camping. But it's a beautiful, beautiful sight. So there we go. First important job of the holiday done. Yep. Purchase. We've got bread. Pano chocolate and bread. And Super you are now doing a jumbo pack of pano chocolate for just three, three euros, euros eight. So I think we'll be living off those for the rest of this week. Which is great. And then Susie gets for lunch. So we'll go back, have those. And uh, see if we can get a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. Look forward to checking into our cabin. So after a few hours driving and two nights sleeping, two nights, one and a half nights sleeping in the California, we've arrived at our destination for our week away in Borg San Maurice and skiing in Les Arc. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, if you did, please remember to give us a thumbs up, drop us a comment if you've got any questions at all about any aspect of the trip and remember to hit the button to subscribe thanks very much indeed for watching and uh, we're on join us on our next video mm -hmm.